he brought out the best in us, I think, because, uh, you know, we loved him and we wanted to play our best for him. We understood him and we, we knew what he wanted uh, after many years, of course. So, but I mean, even right away, we, we, we knew what he wanted and uh, we, we did our best. But it was very inspiring to be around him because of his personality. And um, he made it fun too. And he would tell us stories and, <laughs> and uh, you know, you used everything that you had. Your imagination, all your past experience, your, your personal life, everything, everything went into the music. And for him too, music was his life. And that's why it was so, so captivating. I remember when we did Daphnis, probably when I, when I did it for the first time, uh, he called me into the conductor's room and, and <laughs> he, well, he started playing the accompaniment on the, on the piano, the chords and everything. And he says, uh, uh, make it sound like it's in Africa. And I, I, that was sort of blew my mind because I never thought of African. So here I am, a Japanese flutist, playing for a Russian conductor in America, pretending to be in Africa, playing a French piece. So <laughs> it was <laughs> well, you you felt felt so special being around him because he was so special. And uh, especially when we went on tours, like we sort of rode, rode on his coattails because everybody knew him. I was heads of state, royalty. Uh, famous artists, uh, musicians, writers, all, anybody that was anybody he was friends with. And uh, everywhere we went, um, we were received so warmly because of him. And it was just some, so f much fun to be a part of that. Shostakovich, um, Prokofiev and Tchaikovsky that we did. I mean, it was just uh, incomparable. We, we were able to create a sound that was so unique, I think, especially in Shostakovich. Just by his... Uh, his presence and his inspiration. He just got this incredible sound out of the orchestra. He, he knew as, you as a person, not just as a, as a player or some number or something. You know, he, he really cared about you as a person. He knew about your family and, the, you know, it, it was, he related to you as a person and um, that helped the music. It was such a privilege to, to work with him and we were so lucky that we had him with us in, in our orchestra playing the pieces that he, I mean, he knew these Prokofiev and Shostakovich personally, and, and he, he, you know, he lived in the Soviet Union when, when that music was written, and uh, that was just a, the greatest experience to be part of. He, he always, um, whenever he could, his, whenever his schedule allowed, I mean, he would, he would try to go to church where he could, in, wherever he was in the world. Uh, because we, uh, there are a lot of Russian Orthodox churches in the diaspora, and uh, he supported them. He, he loved the monks in the monastery in upstate New York, where he had um, uh, a property there of several hundred acres. He even had a, a chapel in his home, a small chapel with, uh, with icons and everything. And so it, uh, that was a big part of his life. He, he always crossed himself before he came on stage, and um, you know, he, I know. Once we even read our morning prayers together <laughs> so, in the hotel.